Hey guys, Ash here from curseforward.com and welcome to part 2 of my video tutorial on routing the HTC Butterfly. This tutorial is applicable for both variants, the X920D and the X920E. So uh, guys, in the first part of this video, we went ahead and unlocked the bootloader. So if you've been following, my, uh, following me from part 1 or if you've unlocked the bootloader any other way, just continue watching. So if you followed me from part one, uh, you don't have to download links one and two from the description. Link one will, t will get you HTC Sync, which is necessary for the drivers. So that needs to be downloaded and installed and we did it in the last part. And link two will get you fastboot. So you will get a fastboot.zip that we extract to C drive. We have it here. The unlock code is what we got to unlock, uh, to unlock the bootloader, but uh, if you're just downloading fastboot.zip right now when extracting, you will get three files, and that's what's needed. So link 3 will get you SU underscore busybox, and link 4 will take you to TWRP. So this is TeamWin uh, recovery. I'm choosing TeamWin over a clockwork mod recovery for the butterfly because CWM has some issues, so uh, TeamWin, the TWRP recovery, is better so what we do here is click get twrp for your device and type in htc butterfly all right if you have the x920d click x920d if you have x920e click x920e so i've got the d variant now just scroll down and select download the latest .img file from here and over here select the latest version so 2.4.4.0 is the latest version so just select it and download it Alright, download it directly to the fastboot folder. That is C drive slash fastboot. So while it's downloading, go ahead, connect your HTC Butterfly to the PC using a micro USB cable. And now Transfer the su underscore busybox dot zip file that we downloaded from uh, uh, link 3 onto your internal memory. So I've done that already, but just showing you internal storage, just drag it and drop it here. So once that's done, uh, let's go back to the fastboot folder. Well, my connection is acting up a little bit right now, so I'll just, I just need a few more minutes for the file to the recovery file to download. So. I'll be back with you guys once it's done downloading. All right, guys, the file is downloaded now. So once it's downloaded, what you do is you just rename it to recovery to make the process easier. And uh, now what you do on your phone is hold down volume and power at the same time. Just keep holding it and your phone will reboot to the bootloader mode. All right, we are in the bootloader mode now, and uh, the volume volume buttons uh, act for navigation and the power button for selection. So select fastboot and hit power. All right, you see fastboot USB over here. That means it's connected and it detects the connection. So uh, you can leave the butterfly as it is. And now in the fastboot folder, that is C drives uh, slash fastboot, hold, hold the shift button and right click and select open command window here and now type in fastboot flash recovery space recovery dot img so we are using the fastboot command to flash a recovery and that is recovery dot img that's the recovery file and it's uh, it's got a dot img extension 
diskmatch file so hit enter and it's done so now what you do on your phone is hit the power button again to get back to the bootloader all right and now scroll down and select recovery you can disconnect the USB cable demon recovery is loaded so over here select install and uh, use internal storage is checked that's fine now scroll down and select su underscore busybox.zip and now, select, and now swipe to confirm the flash alright it's done so now select reboot system so we are back up guys uh, just quickly go into the app drawer and you'll have super user just open it once hit ok and go back out just to show you I'm heading over to the Play Store root checker install verify root access allow I see congratulations the device has root access so, so that's pretty much it guys for rooting the HTC butterfly and getting a custom recovery on it if you guys run into any issues or if you have any questions you can hit me up on cursefarver.com slash forums uh, or if you have any video requests for me or any tutorials that you'd like to see made or you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates you can hit me up on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus all my contact details are in the description so that's pretty much it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope uh, the video helped. And if it did, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Every time you hit the like button, it increases the odds of uh, YouTube suggesting this video to others. So just hit the like and subscribe buttons. So that's it for now. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, you guys have a great day. This is Ash here from CutsForward.com signing off. Bye-bye now.